Yo, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be bringing to you the easiest method in being able to beat the CPU um, in Conquest in pretty much anything you do. Um, and it doesn't even require swinging the bat. I mean, you might have to swing the bat maybe once or twice, but usually you can get away the whole game without even swinging the bat once. And... Um, Basically, the way you're going to do this is you got to build the team uh, with an all-speed team. As you can see, I have this team named Grind for CPU Grind. And you can see I just have a bunch of speed guys all the way around. Um, the slowest guy on my team is Cody Bellinger, the 97 overall. And that's only because I don't have the signature series. Jackie Robinson, who I would be playing at first if... Um, I had him because he has 95 speed. Like I said, you have to have guys that are just all the way around speed. And I'll tell you why. So, as you can see, I have a bunch of guys with 99 speed, or three guys with 99 speed. Then, you know, we got Jimmy with 96, Bruhan with like 95, 96 over here. Just a bunch of guys just with speed. You can catch my drift. So, what you're going to be doing is, whenever you go hit, you're just going to be drag bunning or sack bunning towards the first base side. And... Um, for whatever reason, um, you can get a hit pretty much every time when you, when you drag butt and there's nobody on. So, and then what you're going to do after that is you're going to steal. You're going to use a steal method from before, uh, that you used to use with in showdown that would, that you could pretty much steal every time, which would be, uh, holding R2, then waiting until the guy comes set, take two steps and then press hold on to L2 and once and then once you let go of R2 they usually come home and you'll let go of L2 at the same time and you should get a, a perfect jump every time and be able to steal second and third and then once he's at third with no outs or one out you can bun him you you bun it down, you bun it and you're going to get him in every time so um, you just keep ri rinse and repeating that method and you should be able to score without even having to swing the bat. Well, the reason I say sometimes you have to swing the bat is because they don't get the bunt down. But these guys usually with good speed have really good bunt, so they'll get it down anyway. Um, so that's the best way. If you don't want to have to swing the bat and uh, sometimes, you know, you're not swinging the bat well and you're feeling non-confident, you're going to score runs with this method. I'm going to go ahead and go into a conquest game for um, Showdown Extreme. Or sorry, for the Extreme program. Give me one second. All right, so we're gonna have Ty Cobb leading off, as you saw, and we're just gonna try to bunt over. Drag. We're gonna use a drag bunt here with the first pitch. All right, he doesn't get it down on the first pitch, but you still got two other pitches to work with. We're just gonna try to get that drag bunt over to the first by first base side is a push bunt. Boom, right there, first baseman beats it out just in time, but he is gonna beat it out, and then we're gonna use the steal method. Press. You're gonna press R2, come set, you're gonna take two steps, hold L2, let go, and he's gonna take, gonna throw, and you're gonna get the steal. Come, you hold the R2, come set, take two steps, hold L2, let go, and let go of L2. That's a great jump again. Boom, he steals third. Right there, you're, at, you're on third with, with two old count now. You got a two old count, and now trade turns, you're gonna try to push one all over again and see if you get it down. He misses that one, you got a 2-1 count. He should come over the plate at some point. There it is, he comes over the plate. That's a good push bunt. You're probably gonna beat that one out again. You do, and there you go again. He's on first again. Use the method again, press R2, come all the way set. You take two steps, hold L2, let go. All right, we get a decent jump, but we got 99 speed. Beat it out easily, 2-1 count, hold R2. And we do get him over to third. This might beat it out too. Like I said, they're gonna beat it out whether you're drag bunning, whether you're drag bunning or um, sack bunning. When there's no runner on first, it's a pretty easy, it's a pr pretty easy bunt. You're gonna almost get on with 99 speed every time whether you're sack bunning or drag bunning. Like, like I said, it's 2-0 already. We're gonna try to steal here with uh, with Lou Brock. I'll hold on to R2, take two steps. And we get the beautiful jump. We don't even need to try to butt. Easy steal of third. And again, run out of third with one out. You're winning 2-0. And um, so like I said, with the method, um, all you gotta do is 
drag butt or push butt with these guys and do the steel method where you're holding R2, wait until he comes set, take those two second, uh, take those, take a uh, two step lead, and then you're gonna press, hold on to L2 for a second or two to make sure you engage the steel, and then you're gonna let go of R2 and L2 at the same time. The guy should come home. Once you let go of R2, he should be coming home, so that's why you let go of L2 at the same time. You're gonna get a good jump pretty much every time. Not necessarily guaranteed to get a great jump every time, but you're pretty much getting a jump. A great jump, a uh, great jump. I would say at least not 85 or more percent of the time. Even if they don't get the best of jumps and they get an okay jump, remember you have 99 speed or 96 speed or whatever. Pretty high, and then you're gonna have high 90 speed for the most part, so you should be able to skew, get the steal regardless because the catchers aren't the best. They don't have like, you know, diamond defense once you're doing the conquest and stuff, so um, you should be able to get the steal very easily. But like I said, you don't even have to really swing the bat. As you saw in that first inning, I scored two runs without even swinging the bat. I had three hits. Uh, drag bunt, even a sack bunt, I was still getting hits. We'll go into the next inning and show you again, just to show you that it, that it does work. All right, we're gonna turn over to the second inning, just to show you that it does work. Here comes Vidal Brujan, 95 speed. We're gonna try to drag bunt, do that push bunt, and we get it on over. That's a beautiful bunt right there. And we barely beat it out, but we beat it out. That's all that matters, you're getting on base. Here comes the R2, the steel cheese. He comes set, you're gonna hold down L2, let go. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that beautiful jump. We're on second already in just two pitches. Again, he comes set. You're gonna take that two-step lead. You're gonna hold down L2, make sure that that steel engages, let go, let go at the same time, both butt, both R2 and R2, L R2 and L2, and you're gonna get that easy steal. Three pitches, 2-0 count, and you're already at third. We're gonna try to just put it down because all we care about is the run, and we don't need the push butt. And we might even beat this one out, honestly. Okay, he just gets this. Sometimes they throw it a first on a... Sometimes, for whatever reason, they throw it a first. And they, we can beat that out. But all that matters is that we get another run. We're up 3-1. to one, And now we got Cody Bellinger up. Again, you can even bunt with Bellinger now. Because if you get it down the third baseline on the shift, he's going to be safe. And you can actually steal with Bellinger. Even though he doesn't have the best dealing, he does have 81 speed. So, like I said, this method just works. Um, it honestly, I don't even know how I, how I even tried. Look at that, that's an easy bunt. But right here with Ty Cobb, if you get the drag bunt down, he's gonna beat it out pretty much every time. It's gonna be another one, it'll be four to one. So we're trying to get the drag bunt. All right, the one thing is, you do have to start. The one thing is, you have to pay attention to the pitches that are coming in. Do not swing or do not bunt at bad pitches, it's pretty easy to tell what to strike or a ball before you do the drag bunt. So make sure you're paying attention to that. You can't just obviously do what I did and try to drag bunt on a pitch at your face. So make sure you're, you know, you're aware and taking the pitches that are balls and then bunting the pitches that are in the strike zone. So you're right there, three, two. No reason to even try to bunt on these pitches. You're not gonna get those down. There's a good pitch to bunt. And we just missed a hit. Like he hits it just a little bit too hard, but you know, at the end of the day, we get another run, and we didn't even have to swing the bat. Have you seen me swing the bat this game? I have not swung the bat because I don't have to swing the bat. All I got to do is make sure that I'm bunting at good pitches, and you're going to get good results, and then get those steals. So anyways, I hope this video helps you. Um, if you have any questions on how to do it, just ask me in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them. But basically, we'll sum it up all over again. You're going to have to, for number one, just find all around just the fastest guys at each position and uh, preferably, you know, 99 speed. But if you can't get 99 speed, get those guys that are, uh, you know, 95 plus speed and have good bunting. Obviously, the better their bunting is, the easier it's going to be for you to put the bunt down. You have to bunt at only good pitches. Don't be bunting at pitches. Don't be trying to bunt at pitches out the strike zone. It's not going to work. You got a bunt at pitches in the strike zone. It's pretty easy to tell whether it's a strike or ball. Um, in these conquests, you're playing on you know anywhere between veteran to Hall of Fame, um, so it works. I'm telling you, they, it might look like they're not going to beat it out. However, they're going to beat it out. Like you've seen that 
they just beat it out but at the end of the day all you need to do is get on base and be safe then once you're on base you can steal both bags by using the old showdown method that they they patched where it was you could steal with anyone before now you can't steal with anyone but you're using guys with 95 you know 95 plus speed so it should be easy you're gonna pretty much steal every time um, they're not gonna get a great jump every time but at least I would say 85 percent plus they'll get that great jump so you're gonna we're gonna go over it again you're gonna hold R2 wait till you come set you press L1 twice and then you're gonna press L2 at the same time as R2 Okay, you're gonna hold it for a second or two, make sure you engage that steel, and you're gonna let go of both buttons at the same time, pretty much. You know, let go of R2 and then L2. And uh, once you let go of that R2, they're gonna, they're gonna throw home. And of course, once you let go of that L2 button, that's, you know, telling them to steal. So if you do it simultaneous, they should get that great jump, you know, every time. But it doesn't always happen, like I said, but at least 85 plus percent of the time, it's gonna get that great jump. And you're going to be able to steal second and third. And uh, once you get to, you know, once that first base is open again, you can put a bunt down and you're going to get the run in for sure as long as the infield's not in. And even if the infield's in and you have great speed over there, you're going to be able to, you're usually going to be able to get them in anyways. But if they don't, if the infield's not in, you have another opportunity to put a bunt down and get another guy on base. So it's kind of a rinse and repeat cycle type of thing where you're going to be able to, you know, bunt a guy on steal second and third and then if you get another bunt down um and they're not playing in you might be able to get that guy on as well and rinse and repeat it you know a couple times and you and you might wind up with three or four runs in that very inning so it's a nice way to not have to swing the bat it's a very boring way to do it yes you might want to swing the bat and put up those hit those bombs or whatever but it's an efficient way to beat the cpu and not have to stress about swinging the bat um I am a person that doesn't like doing the offline grinding and I do not like uh, swinging the bat because I feel like offline grinding messes up your timing. I mean, you can play anywhere between veteran hall of fame and those timing methods are not good for, you know, for anything, but specifically if you're trying to play ranked season on legend or hall of fame, it's not going to help you get better. So to avoid timing issues, this is what I do and this is the way I get, I can get, uh, you know these cards as well by being a CPU because obviously you see that you're putting up runs and you're getting hits on these bunts so it's gonna work for you just make sure you get those players with high speed and good bunting I'm not saying that you need the guys with amazing bunting if they have high speed but the high bunting also helps most importantly the most important thing is to have those players with really good speed 95 plus is what you're looking for and they're gonna beat that bunt out towards first almost every time um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this helps you succeed in these uh, CPU games, especially on Extreme Conquest. And just from here on out, you can use it in any CPU game, regardless of uh, regardless if it's Conquest or not. Um, just go ahead and use this method, and you'll be able to get the win more times than not. I would say a good again 85 plus percent of the time you're going to get that win by just bunting and not even having to swing the bat so hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys enjoyed the tips as always make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already turn the notifications on leave a like on the video if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and i'll answer them as quickly as possible also if you have any questions regarding the bunting and what you have to do exactly just leave them in the comment section below and i'll answer it as quickly as possible as well all right again um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you give me a follow on Twitch so you can catch me live streaming my Twitch channel. The link to my Twitch channel will be in the description below along with my Twitter handle. Give me a, a follow on that platform as well. Um, my Twitter handle will be in the description below as well. And uh, without further ado, I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much and I hope this one helps you. Have a good one. Peace.